Now, forewarn weather with cutting-edge technology for the most up-to-the-minute forecast in southeast Michigan. Today was simply perfect. The yeah. sun was shining, got a little Easter egg hunt in and walked the dog and hit the playground. But you say snow is Yes, yeah, snow. But at least today you didn't have to fight the wind. Yeah, but yeah that's true. We could have some snow out there. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> neither do I. I want to show you, though, what we saw with our sky Ooh. conditions today. This is from beautiful. One of our viewers who goes by the name pin user. This is from Tyrone Township. That's near Fenton. Beautiful skies. You can see some Sears way up in the background and right there more so in the forefront of the center. You can see contrails. Now that is a very nice picture out there. I want to show you what's happening with our skies right now. It's overcast. We're starting to see some rain showers moving in this view coming from Windsor of our skyline downtown. The current temperature out there 46. We do have a very light wind out there. It's only eight miles per hour out of the north northeast. Those winds tonight will be about five to 10 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the current temperatures. We are in the 40s all across southeast Michigan, 42 in Pontiac and in Flint, 43 in Howell, 46 at Metro Airport and 44 in Monroe. We have those temperatures out there that are starting to come on down after seeing highs in the 50s today. I want to show you with our exact track 4D radar what's happening. We have rain falling across the area and starting to see some snowflakes as you get into Shiawassee and Genesee counties and even into Livingston County. It's showing up as red because we have those big wet snowflakes out there. But let's take a look at some of these road temperatures across the area. And this is going to be a factor in if we see accumulations. We are most likely going to see that on the grassy surfaces and on your car and deck. The roads are still quite warm. Let's take a look right around the South Field and I-96 area. That's the South of Freeway right there, where it's about 50 degrees. As we go up into Oakland County, we're looking at temperatures around I-75 near Clarkson of the roads, about 42. And as we get near Ann Arbor, US 23, the current temperature of the roads about 45 degrees right now. So it's still a little too warm for accumulations on the surface. We're seeing the rain and the snow showers starting to move across our area. You could get a light dusting up to maybe an inch in our northern communities overnight. That's going to be primarily north of M59 for most of us seeing a little bit of that dust. You can see as we get into our northern communities, that's where we have a chance of those snow showers overnight lasting into the morning drive for some of us. A few snow showers still lingering into the area and then it's going to be mostly cloudy for the morning until we get into the afternoon hours. We start to see some clearing becoming partly sunny to partly cloudy in a few areas. Otherwise, as we look into the overnight hours, we have the rain and snow showers moving through those temperatures in the lower 30s, about 34 degrees in the city. And then tomorrow we're we're going to have those temperatures getting up to around 40 degrees as we get toward the lunchtime period and then that high coming in at 44. We do have a roller coaster in store for us. Those temperatures around normal, which is about 50 to 51 degrees this coming week. We have a chance of rain and snow once again midweek on Wednesday, 49 degrees and then warming up to near 60 degrees. If that happens, that would only be the third time this year. We had one 60 degree day in January, one in February, and then we have toward the end of the week temperatures falling off a little bit back into the lower 50s. All right, thank you, Ron.